in the window. Right, young man, now you go up wide tall to Trafalgar Square. Oh, wait. Bloody knows they're fucking them cats, eh? Well, I'm only telling you, Nip. Oh, thanks. Well, I know that, I know that. I'm running around, cause again about town, it's all Long night for you, I suppose. No, I'm actually on my way out. Great. I won't have to give you a tip then, will I? Get me, no fucker. Strap off. Come on, mate. Get your head. Right. Here we go. Whoa. Here we go. Nice and easy. Come I've on. got the care on, shall I? Yeah, you do. Come on. Here we go. Watch yourself. Oh, come on.
Binsby Police Station. It's Mrs. Smith speaking. Stockwell Police Station? It's Mrs. Smith speaking. I'm worried about my husband, Mr. John Smith. John Smith? He's a taxi driver. He's a taxi driver. He was due back at 12 o'clock last night. And he was due back at half past seven this morning. I'm worried. Well, he might have fallen asleep at the wheel of his taxi. At average, I suppose. Normal, really. Medium build. Medium build. Brown hair. Brown eyes. Sort of cuddly. Sort of cuddly. I'm sure we'll sort it out, Mrs Smith. Now, could you just give me your address, please? And here's a copy of Mr. Smith's hospital report. How long is he going to be? I've been waiting 20 minutes already. Here comes our hero now. You know, I love this place. Mine's bigger than yours, Johnny boy. Good luck, mate. Break a leg, granddad. <laughs> oh, hello. He's on a high dose of tranquilizers. Yeah, I can see that. Mr. John Smith? Oh, yes. Detective Sergeant Trout and Stockwell Police. Morning. Here's Mr. Smith's medication. <sighs> medication. And here are the keys for Mr. Smith's tax. Oh, thank you. No, very no. Much. I'll be driving you home and taking a statement. Is he all right to walk? Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm oh, oh, oh. Come on, you. Home, James. No, it's John. My name's John. Everybody. <laughs> You're a nice nurse, aren't you? You're a lovely nurse, eh? <laughs> It's not the cough that carries you off, it's the coffee and they carry you off. <laughs> Who's driving? I am. Listen, I am perfectly okay to drive. <laughs> no, you're not. Now, 104 Stockwell Place, yeah? Hey, <laughs> that's my address too. <laughs> Susie! What the hell's happened? He's got a slight concussion. Oh, my God! It'll be OK, Mrs Smith. Oh, no, 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 that's Susie. Save some poor old lady from two muggers. Johnny! You better get him to bed straight away. Well, if that's an order, babe. You come down, let us in, please. I think you should ask his wife to do that. She lives next door. Sorry, madam. Er, uh, it's Miss, actually. But I'm open to offers, babe. John! Oh, thank God. I'm going to buy you a cake, Johnny boy. Darling, your head. I'm fine. That's my Michelle. Detective Sergeant Troughton, Stockwell Police. I'll be right down. Come on. That's my Michelle. Yeah, you said. And this is Stockwell. Yeah. What time is it? 9.25. Oh, in the morning? Yes. Oh, schedule. What? I'm well out of my schedule. Oh, my God. It's Thursday morning. Johnny! Oh, my baby. Hello, sweetheart. What on earth's happened? Oh, you poor darling. What a night. I'm late for my morning shift, sweetheart. You are going to bed, sweetheart. Now, listen, darling. No, bed. All right, Johnny. What the hell's happened to you, mate? Not now, Gary. Gary Gardner. I've got the flat below them. Uh, are you delivering something? Detective Sergeant Troughton, Stockwell Police. The old bill? Darling, I really should get back on the road. No way, come on. Right, I'm going to make you a nice cup of coffee. You know, I really haven't got time, sweetie. Caffeine, it'll do you good. Would you like a coffee, Sergeant? No, thanks, Mrs Smith. I'll take your husband's statement and be on my way. Two sugars will be enough. Mm -hmm. And the, uh... 
hospital gave him this medication. My poor baby. Yeah. Can we make this quick, Sergeant? I really do need to be off. So do I, Mr Smith. Yes, let the Sergeant get back to his duties. Do you know, Sergeant, there's a man knocked down in Stockwell every five minutes. Really? Yeah, and he's getting bloody fed up of it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Last night, at approximately 2,300 hours, you were driving your taxi where you witnessed two youths attempting to steal an old lady's handbag. Bloody hell! You intervened in the struggle. Twit! Aren't you going to be late for work, sir? Work? I'm one of the government's vital statistics. Beg your pardon? I'm temporarily unemployed. I see. Although I'm thinking of making it permanent. Really? Yeah, the hours are good. <laughs> so... Mr. Smith. Allow me. You two carry on. Hello, the Smith residence. No, I'm not Mr. Smith. Yes, he is, but he's incapacitated at the moment. Evening who? Echo. London Evening Echo. Well, I'm Mr. Smith's sort of press officer. How can I help you? OK, just to get this straight, the two youths ran off. Yeah, down Waterloo Road. You'll never guess who's just been on the phone. Shush! And it all ended up with me being hit by a handbag. Day, muggers. That's new, Sergeant. Your coffee's on the table there, then push off. The next thing I know, I wake up in hospital. OK. I'll leave you the telephone number of the police station in case Mr Smith remembers any more. Call me any time or speak to one of my men. Right. Uh, I'll drop you off at the station, yeah? You're staying here. Ten minute walk. Do me good. I'll see you out. And don't you worry, Sergeant. I don't believe half the stuff I read about you boys in the newspapers. Gardner, wasn't it, sir? But you can call me Gary. I know what I'd call you, sir. Quite a morning, eh? And the best is yet to come. Do you know who that was? Hell, huh? I've left my two mobiles in the taxi. Two mobiles? I need to make a phone call. And quick. What's wrong with this? Yeah. Now, you wait out in the hall and keep Michelle out of here. What do you mean, keep Michelle out Just of here? Well, don't you want to know what's coming? Hello? Look, madam, as I've said, I'm sorry. You've had time to email every hospital in the country. I keep telling you, madam, our computer went down, but it's sorted now. My husband could be lying in a hospital bed on one of those vibrators. The London Evening Echo. London Evening Echo. Gary Gardner. Of course you can have my photo. Please. Come on, Steph. Come on. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, hey! So, do you want to hear my really exciting news? No, oh. I don't. Right, let's get you Fine. in Fine, I'll pick you up from Tesco's right away, madam. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to shoot off, darling. Well, you're not going anywhere. Now, who wants to hear my really exciting news? You clear off. No way! I want to be here when the reporter and the photographer turn up. A reporter? London Evening Echo. Interview, photo. Interview? Photo. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. I need to get changed. I wear black because I thought you'd been killed. <laughs> you absolute idiot. What, what? Oh, what do you mean? You'll be on the front page. Stockwell taxi driver. Hero. <laughs> I can't be seen in the papers. What do you mean you can't be seen in the papers? You'll ruin me. I've got to get over to see Stephanie right away. Why would it ruin you? Oh, Stephanie. She's a lady. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. So you've got a little bit on the side, have you? There's more to Stephanie than that. Oh, she's a big bird, is she? Lovely. Listen, all hell will break loose if Stephanie reads anything in the newspapers about me and Michelle and living in Stockwell. Hey, what, your girlfriend doesn't even know you're married? Stephanie's not my girlfriend. She's my wife. No, 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 no Johnny, no, no. You are married to Michelle. Yeah, that too. You've got two wives? Yeah, I've got Michelle here, and I've got Stephanie in Finsbury. Bloody hell. I thought you were ordinary. Yeah, Stephanie's going to be worried sick. 
So, you have to get rid of that report for when he arrives. Hold it. Hold it! My flat. Now. If Gary's going to be your accomplice, Gary wants filling in, mate. Now, give. OK. Michelle was the first. Oh, it was a lovely wedding. It was in a church. And I met Stephanie four months later. Four months? Well, she just got into my taxi at Victoria Station, and when we got back to her flat in Finsbury, I, I offered to take her cases up. And, oh, I mean, they were bloody heavy. <laughs> Sorry. So she got me a beer. Yeah. And, you know, we, we chatted, and... And she asked me if I wanted another beer, and I said yes, and, you know, we chatted, and then she got me another beer, and we chatted some more, and, you know, then... It's a bit you forgot to mention Michelle when you was doing all this chatting. Well, I, I, I'd never met anyone like Stephanie. You know, she'd been a dancer, you know, shows and stuff. We just hit it off. And then one thing led to another, and another... And another. And another. We got engaged that night. What? Did you smell her that day? And you asked Stephanie to marry you? No, she asked me. Me? Hey? I didn't have the heart to say no. Bloody hell! We got married in a registry office and I moved into her Finsbury flat. Well, still living with Michelle in Stockwell? You've committed bigamy, mate. That's what you've done. Well, sort of. Not sort of. 100% bigamy. Yeah. It's a criminal offence. Yeah. You could go to jail. <laughs> yeah. Well, doesn't that worry you? Well, I've been too busy to think about it. Now, I've got to get to Stephanie. She's going to be going out of her mind. <laughs> Deal with that reporter. What do I tell him? Just, just, just make up a story. Keep Michelle occupied. Oh, I'm no good at this sort of thing. I'm not like you. I love them both, Gary. Now, I know it's not right, but they are my whole life and I couldn't bear to lose either one of them. So just please, just stick by me, mate. Oh, God. It's that reporter. Well, get rid of him. Just give me the keys to your flat. Dear, what are you going to do? I'm going to try Steph. Just give me the bloody keys. Yeah. For God's sake, do not let him win our dog. If Michelle gets involved, we've had him. Yeah, go, 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 yeah, go, 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 go! This is him, 104. Hi. Oh, we're just here to see Mr. Smith. Yeah? I was just going to ring his bell. Oh, yeah. Do you live here? Yeah. I'll ring his bell then, shall I? No, no, no. No, no need. No, no. You're not Mr. Smith by any chance, are you? Yeah. Y yeah. All oh, right. Uh, London Evening Echo. I'm Richard Holden. Call me Dick. My photographer, Francis. Hi, Dick. Okay. Hi, Francis. May I call you Fanny, Francis? Please do. <laughs> that was a pretty brave thing you did this morning. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Dick. <laughs> Hi, Fanny. Hi, Fanny. Hi, Dick. Oh, where's he put that bloody phone? So, may we come in? No. Uh, no. My wife. Hell. Spots. Sexually transmitted spots. They haven't even diagnosed it yet. Serious. Very serious. Sorry to hear that. Very sorry. Thanks, Fanny. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> yeah, we're all very sorry. Yes. So, shall we um, go around to the little cafe around the corner? Yeah? OK, fine by me. Might make a good picture. Uh, we'll go in your taxi, shall we? One of Mr. Smith behind the wheel, eh? Yeah, great. No, I don't drive. At the moment, yeah. I got hit very hard with a handbag. My doctor says I mustn't. Shall we? Hello, 
sweetie. John, where are you? You're more than two hours late. I'm sorry, gorgeous. Oh, the taxi broke down. I was taking a fare to Luton Airport and I've conked out miles from anywhere. Oh, I couldn't get to a phone. Why didn't you use your mobile? Well, would you believe it? Someone nicked it last night. Well, where are you calling from now? Oh, I'm in a farmer's cottage on the other side of Luton. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm miles from anywhere. John! Uh, what is it? What's happened? Hang on a sec, sweetie. The farmer's just walked in. The farmer? It's definitely me. <laughs> Did you get rid of that reporter? Disaster. We bumped into that damn Susie Browning from next door. You know, the one with a big mouth and a small yeah, bottle. Yeah, <laughs> Johnny! Hang on a second, sweetie. Uh, uh, the farmer just wants the keys to the taxi. The AA have arrived. What's happened? A stupid woman called me Gary. You are Gary. I know that, but I told the reporter I was you. What? So here comes that sexy Gary Gardner, she says. Have a look at the chocolate cake I got for our brave Johnny, Gary. <sighs> well, by then the game was up. The reporter's a total idiot. <laughs> Told you I'd be no good at this! John, answer that, will you? John! Are you still there, John? Yeah, just dealing with the AA man. AA man. John! All in hand here, sweetie. You get yourself over to the sports centre and I will see you later. <laughs> OK, but I'd better call in at Finsbury Police Station first. Finsbury Police Station? Well, I reported you missing this morning. Missing? Missing? John? Johnny! Where the hell are you? Well, don't you do anything. The taxi's fixed. I'm going to make my way over to Finsbury Police Station. I'm going to sort it all out. I'll be there in ten minutes. On the other side of Luton? Say fifteen minutes. Gary? Johnny, are you with Gary? Gary? Are you on the phone? Darling! Where's John? That reporter's here with a photographer. Be right down. Hey, babe. How you doing with this spot? My what? <laughs> Gary told these two that you couldn't be seen because you've got sexually transmitted spots. <laughs> Did you tell that reporter I'd got sexually transmitted spots? Why? Oh, you silly sod! speaking. Where's my husband? He's just gone for a wee wee. Has he had an accident? No, I'm sure he made it in time. Look, I must go. The cows need milking. I'd like to speak to my husband now, please. Well, you'll have to shout. The toilet's at the other end of the barley field. We'll get him to call me back right away. Hang on. I just get something to write on. He knows the number. Fire away. Seven two eight seven. Seven two eight seven. Six six four one. Six six four one. That's O two O from where you are. No, it's not. From outside London. Yes, it is. Gary. Boy, boy, I think some of our chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> Job centre. <laughs> A farmer, I ask you. I can't find John anywhere. His taxi's still outside. Wow. Well, you better come and talk to this reporter. Why the hell did you tell him you were John? Seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, and that bloody Susie Browning's going to spread it all over Stockwell that I've got the pops for a bloody minute.
We can make do with a two-minute interview and a quick photo. As long as we do the photo. Oh, yeah, photo of Mrs. Smith on her own. No, John. Yeah, he doesn't take a good picture. That, that profile is... <laughs> John Smith. So you went up and he came down. No, so I was at the no. top. At no, the top of uh, yeah. the stage. Steve, help me out. Oh, no, Dave. Wait a bloody time. Hospital report, John Smith. Oh, that taxi driver. <laughs> he deserves a medal. He deserves a kick up the jacksy. Hang on, Sarge. Now, if all members of the public had a go... Now, that's funny. What? Where did you take Mr Smith home? Down the road, Stockwell Place. Well, that's what I thought. The hospital's got his address wrong. Typical, eh? How do you mean? John Smith, taxi driver, concussion and bruising, minor delirium, address supplied by patient on arrival in A&E, flat 140, Lewin Estate, Lewin Road, Finsbury. Finsbury? Bloody NHS. Lucky he wasn't operated on for piles. <laughs> Finsbury Police, Detective Sergeant Porterhouse speaking. Detective Sergeant Troughton, Stockwell. Did you have a John Smith reported as missing in your area? 9.30am today. Uh, hang on a sec. Melissa? Was a Mr Smith reported missing this morning? Yes, sir. By a very angry wife. Uh, the file's on your desk. I've got the file. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yes. Uh, Mr John Smith, 140, Lewin Estate, Lewin Road, Finsbury. Medium build. Brown hair, brown eyes, aged 33. That's the bloke, taxi driver. Good. You've got him, have you? Oh, yeah. I'll email you our report. I'm just nipping back to Stockwell Place. What do you think's up there? Who knows? Drugs, illicit gambling, body in the cellar. Got you, Tommy boy. Smith, but if he's not somewhere around the back, we'll have to call it off. He won't be there. Call it off now. Shut up! Could be hiding in the allotment somewhere. <laughs> John! I need a bit more practice. Lovely. It'll just make the afternoon edition. Lovely. No, it bloody well won't. Hey! Michelle. Michelle. 
Stephanie. Finsbury, Finsbury Place. Bloody funny. <laughs> Taxi! place station fast. Got your laundry off, eh? Not a sign of him. Now, shall we all have a nice cup of tea? Shut up! Excuse me, sir. I don't know where you fit into all this, but we've run out of time, so we're interviewing Mrs. Smith at our office. To go with a photo of me and Johnny. And I don't know where you fit into this either. Yeah, John's not back in the next few minutes. Better call the police. Oh! Look after that, would you? Oh. Look, just, just cancel the whole thing. It's yesterday's news anyway. Bloody hell. Well... At Mr. Gardner. Twice before lunch. Dylan's having a day off. I've called to see Mr. Smith again. Oh, well, he's out. And so is Mrs. Smith. It'll have to be you then. Me? Need to fill in a few uh, blank spots. Right. Your flat then. Shall we? Wait here. Thanks, mate. In a bit of a hurry, are we? <laughs> so there you have it. My wife made a little mistake and I've been found and... <laughs> oh, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Actually, we did know you were no longer missing, Mr Smith. Oh, you did? Stockwell police have been on. Stockwell? Our sergeant's gone round to your place in Lewin Road to give your wife the good news. What? Apparently, there's also some confusion over an address in Stockwell. She also seems a bit confused over the use of a vibrator. Smith, are we? Uh, Stephanie Smith, yes. She'll be at the sports centre taking the old dears through their paces. Knees bent, touch your toes, wobble your boobies. <laughs> Do you live in this block, sir? Yes, we're in the flat above the Smiths, Cyril and me. We're in the dressmaking business. <laughs> Trouble is, Cyril can't bear to part with half of them. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Smith at the sports centre, you say? Yes, at the church hall, just before the high street. <laughs> You're joining her class, are you? <laughs> uh, no, I thought. Thanks for your help. No, I'm Bobby Franklin, by the way. Oh, uh, Detective Sergeant Porthouse. Well, I'll be making my way to the uh, church hall then. You behave yourself with all those titty witties. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait here. Take your time. Cooey! Bobby! Has someone been round to see Steph? Well, yes, just now. A sweet policeman. Bloody elf. But your Steph isn't in. Thank God. She's at the sports centre, yeah? That's why I tell the sergeant. Hey? What are you two up to? Naughty videos. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, there's some confusion over his address. <laughs> I thought you said there was some confusion over his dress. <laughs> so, what was the confusion over his address? As to whether it's Stockwell or Finsbury. Stockwell or... F f f f Finsbury. Sergeant. My husband was supposed to call in at your police station. Be there in a second, ladies. Don't stop now. Anyway, his taxi broke down on the way to Luton Airport and he ended up on a farm. A farm? Luton Airport? Wait here. Are you available? Not for about two weeks, love. I mean, what a coincidence. Two John Smiths, both getting their heads bashed on the same day. <laughs> this one's not you, then. No, you can <laughs> see it's not me. This poor bloke spent the night in St Thomas's Hospital with a head injury after a mug incident. <laughs> so, how did you sustain your injury, sir? Yeah, what happened? Oh, at the farm. I hit my head on one of them low beams, but boom. Oh, oh poor Johnny. Oh, no, oh, baby, oh, no. So you weren't in Stockwell around 2,300 hours last night? No. Driving your taxi? 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 Says here, this chap's occupation is a, a taxi driver. That's why I have a good coincidence, isn't it, It's a puzzle, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'll go and call on this other John Smith. Call on him? Yeah, in Finsbury. Oh, Hang on! Oh, Sergeant. Finsbury's outside your beat, isn't it? Just a social call, Mr Gardner. Just a social call. I better call John in Finsbury. <laughs> I mean, would you believe it? Two John Smiths? Both taxi drivers, both getting their heads bashed. On the same day. On the same day. <laughs> yes, but why would this Stockwell, Mr. Smith, give his address as Lewin Estate, Finsbury? That's our address, Don. John's phone number in Finsbury. Why did I put a piece of paper? Phone. Oh, Mr. Gardner. Yes, Sergeant? Do you know what an accessory is? A handbag? Oh, an accessory? Yes. Good.
really is. Oh, of course. The reason St. Thomas's Hospital have got this other John Smith's address down here as mine is because I was in St. Thomas's a couple of days ago. They've got my record confused with this other Mr. Smith. You never said you'd been to the hospital, sweetie. Oh, nothing serious, sweetie. What it was, I hit my head on the taxi bonnet like boom. Oh. Dead unlucky with your head, aren't you, sir? Yeah. I am, you know. <laughs> I mean, I was in and out in five minutes. But, of course, they took down all my particulars. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Drive safely, Sergeant. Oh, by the way, sir, your head. Yes? Which hospital treated your most recent misfortune, the incident with the beam? Oh, no, they didn't. The farmer's wife was an ex-nurse. She fixed it. I always seem to fall on my feet. <laughs> I hope you always check what you've landed in. I <laughs> got you on your way. <laughs> oh. Hello, this is John Smith. Um, I'm not available at the moment, so please up. leave a message. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sir. All the uh, doors were open. Were they? Uh, Detective Sergeant Porterhouse. Stockwell, please. Finsbury, actually. Uh, <coughs> Finsbury? It's just a matter of a little confirmation, that's all. Semi-official. Stockwell's not really my jurisdiction, but uh, it's concerning a namesake of yours. Of mine? Yes. Bit of a surprise, eh, Mr. Smith? Eh? <laughs> yes! I've just been talking to this other Mr. Smith in Finsbury. No! I thought you'd be surprised. Yes! Well, it's all pretty much resolved, but uh, just to set our record straight in Finsbury, I'd like to confirm the cause of your head injury. The cause of... Well, if it's me, in Stockwell, I must have been hit by a handbag. Yes, 
That confirms it. Finsbury, low beam and taxi bonnet, Stockwell, ladies' handbag. Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, Sergeant, I uh, was just about to go to, um, bed. Bed? God, I hope John's home. That bang on the ears made him go really funny. I'll get down to the tube station and wait for the evening echoes to come in. It might seem too early for bed to you, Sergeant, but with all this shift work, it's the only chance the wife and I get for a bit of nookie. Yeah. You understand? I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Michelle. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Boy! Oh, are you Mrs. Michelle Smith? Yes, she's Michelle. Aren't you, Michelle? Bye, Michelle. Uh, Detective Sergeant Porterhouse. Oh, is it about my John? Yes, all sorted. Shut up and push up. Why the hell have you got your trousers off? Off we go. Hold it! Is my John all right? I think so. Yeah, definitely. No problem. Goodbye, Mickey. Oh. She prefers to be called Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Off we go. Why did Mrs. Smith slap your face? Oh, she likes a bit of rough stuff before our morning session. Bye! You! Street. I thought you two were going to bed. Moon season, I need to buy some Viagra. You're gonna get it now. Blimey. Come on, Gary, come on! Mm. Gotta go. Sweetheart, relax. No, gotta get back on the road, gotta earn that dosh. Absolute disaster. That dizzy bitch, Cyril. I go out and buy a newspaper, come back, and the stupid cow is nattering away on the phone while the bar water is overflowing like Niagara Falls. What the hell's happened? We're dying this frock for some tart in tooting, and now we've got two feet of red water slopping all around. The bloody million. Nightmare. <laughs> I've got a nip off. Uh, no, nothing. Your flat is directly under ours. You can have the red... Bloody sea in your flat by now. Oh, I'm having a bit of a come over. I haven't read that yet. I was hungry. <laughs> He's not actually eating a newspaper, is he? Just digesting the news, maybe. <laughs> well, mm. it is today's. So it's nice and fresh. Is your John all right? I don't know, but ever since he's had that bang on the head, he's gone really funny. Hi, John. <laughs> Mr. Smith! <laughs> oh. We don't need a taxi, we're just round the corner. Well, I'll need a taxi. I'll see you back in a flat, yeah? It's not well. Drive! Right near where I live. Oh, 
And as I was saying, about these hip replacements. I'll be a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Not bloody likely. You owe me a fortune. In Finsbury, give me a Stockwell update. I'll give you an update, Johnny Boy. Wow, what a lovely surprise! Oh. How did you get in? Tricks of the trade. How did you get in, Mr. Smith? Well, I was just passing, and I just thought, you know, I'll... you got a key, haven't you? This flat's yours, isn't it? There is no other, Mr. Smith, is there? I'll get rid of him. You stay there, Johnny boy. Don't want you rushing around banging your head again now, do we? John! Trouton's on the way! On the way! On the way! Oh, yeah. Look who's arrived. It's Mr. Gardner. So, the plot thickens. I'm ever so sorry, John. It's all right, mate. The game was up anyway. If there's any criminal offence involved, Mr. Smith, you may care to speak to a solicitor. Bloody hell. The reason I've got two flats is because... Well, we're a pair, aren't we? A pair of what? Ah. Oh. This dear, sweet man, he took the flat below Michelle and me in Stockwell and... Well, we just knew, didn't we? I... Finally, we succumbed. And we found our little love nest. So the pair of you rent this flat? I bloody don't. No, no I pay. And Gary chips in when he can. Michelle knows nothing, of course. If she was to find out that I was, you know, ACDC. ACDC? This doesn't need to go any further, does it, Sergeant? I'll see what my superintendent says. Are you all deaf in here? Sir and I have been banging away up there for ages. And you've got a bloody big hole, too. May I ask who you are, sir? Who wants to know, Chuck? Detective Sergeant Troughton, Chuck. Oh, whoop de poo <laughs> Oh, come with me. I need a big, strong man to hold their ceiling up. I can't stop the flow. What the hell's happened now? I've slipped and pulled the shower out the wall. Go and turn it off at the oh. maids while I sort this lot out. Come on. Come on, you two. But it gives you ACDC. No, I'm really worried about John. You should have shown your other profile. You really should. Something must have happened to him. Right, I'm going to ring that Sergeant Troughton from Stockwell Police. He gave me his number on a piece of paper. Where did I put it? <laughs> Here it is. He said I should speak to him or one of his men. Oh, 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 oh,
nearly full. I'm still coming through. Oh, I'm still leaving it out. Doing a good job there, Sergeant. Michelle Smith speaking. Oh. Hello. What's up? I don't know. Someone answered the phone, but all I can hear is heavy breathing. Come on, I've got another bucket full out there. It's Michelle. Well, I never mind. Michelle? How'd she get this number? I found the meter and turned the water off. What the bloody hell are you doing now? I found the answer. It's much quicker, lovey. <laughs> <laughs> One more dance and I really must go. <laughs> right, I'm getting back to the station and you're lucky I don't stick one on you for wasting police time. <laughs> Hello? Is that 0207 287 Yes. Detective Sergeant Troughton speaking. Oh, good. I got straight through this time. Bloody police. Is Mrs Smith speaking from 104 Stockwell Place? Mrs Smith, from 104 Stockwell Place. You called on us earlier this morning. Oh, dozy twit. Yeah, I remember. I thought you said your wife didn't know anything about this place. She does. Shut up and sit down. Hello? Yeah, sorry, Mrs Smith, someone was interrupting. Trouble on the line again. Beg your pardon? Well, the last time I dialed this number, all I got was heavy breathing. Heavy breathing? I see. Maybe she's got the wrong end of the stick. You sit down as well, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Step ladder. I'm worried about Mr. Smith's behaviour. His behaviour? I think she might have sussed you out. But, Mrs. Smith, I don't quite see why it is that you're ringing this particular number. Because it's yours. Mine? Well, isn't this a good place to get you? What, me? Here? Yes, you and the men. What men? The men you have under you. Hey? Well, don't you all operate from there? Now, look here, Mrs Smith. I'm a perfectly straight police officer, and it's nothing to do with me that your husband and Mr Gardner are engaged in a homosexual relationship. <laughs> We've got a life-and-death drama going on through there, you know? John? Gary? Yeah. I'm with the pair of them now. I'm sorry if it's come as a bit of a shock, but you were already on to them, weren't you? John and Gary? What the hell's happened? John's having it off with Gary. Having what off? Oh, my God. I'm coming, Phil. I'm coming. Hang in there, dear. <gasps> but what are they both doing at the police station? No, no, they're here at their flat in Finsbury. Flat in Finsbury? Oh, my... Lewin Estate, Lewin Road, Finsbury. Michelle! Hello? Right, I'm going back to the station. Make my report. Oh, and it seems to me, Mr Gardner, that Mr Smith had a perfectly happy marriage until you came mincing into his life. 
Rotten devil! I'll tell him to show him on my way home to explain. Explain! <laughs> show! I'm a practicing homosexual. Well, as long as you're only practicing. <laughs> She's not answering. She's on her way to Finsbury. Homosexual? I have enough problems convincing some people I'm a homo sapien. Oh. 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 Limey, are you OK? Oh, yeah. Happy as a pig in shit. Oh. You deal with Bobby and Sue. I'll somehow stop this show getting into the flat. <laughs> Here you go. Can you move? Oh, hello again. Hey, well, been in another accident, have you, sir? Oh, just a little bit of a problem in the bathroom. <laughs> I've got to go. Uh, 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 one moment, sir. Uh... Why the hell haven't you got a sat now? Hang on, I'm getting it. Westminster Bridge, no, Lambeth, no, Westminster, Trafalgar Square, The Strand, Holborn, chuck a right and then... I don't need a geography lesson. What are you doing? Five years we've been married, and all the time he's been having it off with Gary Gardner. Oh. You know him? Oh. Oh. I don't care about that. When I see him, Michelle, I'm going to kill him. I should have asked you at the sports centre, but I got rather caught up with your headbanging saga. <laughs> uh, a signature there confirming you are no longer a missing person, which of course you're not. <laughs> oh, and uh, just a signature there, 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 and there. <clears throat> He's still here, good. <laughs> Cakes. Oh. Sandwiches. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Bye. Cheerio. <laughs> I could be here for dinner. Don't you go anywhere. No hurry, mate. I'm going to take early retirement after this little lot. Oh, and uh, a last signature. Here. <clears throat> What's happened to my chin tuck? Turn the tap off, you silly little drama queen. <laughs> anyway, I'll get into the car and I'll take you around to the doctor's. Take me to the undertaker. Oh, no. Good Lord. Mr. Smith. Yes? No, 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 no. no the other Mr. Smith. Other Mr. Smith? Your <laughs> namesake from yes. Stockwell. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, um... Mr. Smith from Stockwell. He just dropped by to introduce himself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the two of you have had a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never laughed so much in my life. <laughs> like, like a couple of hyenas, we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've been helping Mr. Smith out with his problem in the bathroom, have you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, bu -bu 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 right, on your way, you. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Thanks very much, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has your wife been introduced to uh, this Mr. Smith? No, 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 she hasn't. No. Well, she's in for a laugh, too. Stephanie. Triple shit. Yeah, finally. Mrs. Smith, you're going to laugh. That other Mr. Smith has just turned up. From Stockwell. <laughs> he popped by to say to introduce himself. Oh, yeah? <laughs> great! <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Um, where are you off to now? What the hell has happened to you? Oh, it's, it's, it's Bobby's red dye. All sorted now, though, all sorted. Hey, Mr. Smith. Say hello to Mr. Smith's missus. Mr. Smith. Great. Well, I'll uh, pop this in the shed and I'll be back in a sec. Don't go away. 
other Mr. Smith. Let's see what else we've got in common. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a great day. Taxi! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? God knows, anyway. Whoa, 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 Michelle's going to be here any minute. What? I know that. Well, she'll meet Stephanie. Yeah, I know that too. Look, it's over, mate. It's over? It's not over. It's not over till the fat lady sings. The fat lady's already done six choruses. You've got to face up to it, John. I am facing up to it. I've been taking it for granted for years how much I love them both and how much they love me and I couldn't bear to hurt. I think I've got a plan. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Bobby's flat's above mine. Quick. No! It won't work. It's brilliant. Trout and never give her the flat number, just Lewin Estate, Lewin Road. Bobby and Cyril, they won't be back from the doctors for at least an hour. We say we'll still find me and you together. Anything's better than her finding me and Stephanie together. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. Uh, I'm on a diversion. Oh, good for you. This is my third. I'm, I'm, I'm completely locked in. I'm sorry. But you'll have to move back, love. This is a very big how vehicle. How do you expect me to get through there? Move the bloody this thing back. I've got to get through there. Do you know how difficult it is to find reverse I don't on this thing? Care. All, right, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll reverse. So, my first day. Would you believe it? Reverse. It must be here somewhere. <laughs> Oh, I'm fed up with this. I'm walking the rest of the way to Ascot. God. Is this your best day ever, darling? She's a bit upset. Aww. You'd be upset too if your husband was having help with Gary Gardner. Oh, yeah. Who's Gary Gardner? Gary Gardner. Okay, I know a shortcut through the hole in my bathroom ceiling. The hell? Oh, hello there, other Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith? I think so, yeah. Is your wife with you? I don't think so, no. Well, that'll be three coffees then. <laughs> I'll go first, and then I'll pull the one. Bloody hell!
take your pick. What's she gonna do? Knock on every bloody door. Michelle! What? Look! What's all the bloody knocking for? Collecting for charity. Piss off. Number 152. 152, Mr. John Smith. He's got to be up here somewhere. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right. How the bloody hell am I supposed to get up there? Well, just, just climb up me. It's all been a little misunderstanding. Still? Three coffees. I can control my own ambition. John? Johnny? Mr. Smith? I'm gonna count to ten. You might be having an afternoon nap, babe. That is Bobby and Cyril. Well, they're not going to use their real names, are they, babe? Bobby and Cyril. Oh. Careful! You be careful. Give me back my bloody trousers. Downstairs, we're dealing with this. Yeah, piss off, piss off. You heard the lady piss off. Who the bloody hell are you anyway? We're on the flat downstairs. And what the bloody hell does she mean by we? I'm gonna call the police. No, 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 no. she just needs some aspirins. Aspirin. Talk about ambidextrous. A gay flat up here and some tart in the flat down below. Right, I'm gonna sort her out and then I'm coming back to cut your balls off. Michelle! Excuse me. Michelle! 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 I have to tell you. I'm going to tear her guts out. No, listen. That lady. She's not a tart. A whore, then? No, she's not a whore. She's not a tart. She's... She's a fella. Fella? Yeah. He's a transvestite. A transvestite? That's when a man dresses up as a lady. We know what a transvestite is. She is a man. Yeah. Now, Fred, he looks amazing when he gets all dulled up. Fred! And does Fred walk round Finsby like that? Oh, yeah. 
Well, he's part of your kinky setup as well, is he? Well, no, actually. Uh, he's a friend of Gary's. Fred is not a friend of Gary's! Oh, well, let's not fight over him, Gary. Poor Michelle. She's had enough shocks for one day. Oh, you're my little darling. Oh, damn well, am. I can't believe it of you, Johnny. But I'm not so surprised about <laughs> you, Cyril. I thought you loved me, Johnny. Oh, I do, darling. So much, so much. Now, I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. Now, now let me get you home, sweetie. Yeah? Yeah, Susie, you take Gary. And Gary, you better break it off without Fred. Aspirin! Where's that crazy lady with the, um, knife? It's all right. John's taking her home. John is? Poor Mrs. Smith. She's had a hell of a day. Thanks. Mrs. Smith? Just forget about today. Best all round, eh? You know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Come on. The face is great, but the boobs, wow. See ya. Wait a minute. Mr. Smith, is that crazy lady with my husband your wife? Yes. Well, why aren't you taking her home then? I'm in no fit state. I've had a hell of a day. My wife, I just discovered he's a transvestite. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It must have been a hell of a shock. Hell of a shock. And what about that other lady? That's my wife's partner, Bert. John! After you've taken Mrs. Smith home, make sure you come straight back here, OK? Those days are over, Fred! Fred! Five years I've had to put up with him. Um, her. Uh, um, him. What's all this paper? It's a messy cat. No, I'm afraid it's not all sorted, Mr. Smith. Detective Sergeant Troughton wants to see you down here at the station at 9 p.m. tonight. No, Mr. Smith, sometime next week will not do. Mr. Smith, your bedtime will have to wait. Have you seen this report of mine, eh? My super will shove it right up my jacksie. When questioned, Mrs. Michelle Smith said the female reported to be present at the premises in Finchbury was a male transvestite called Fred. Mr. Gardner could find no explanation as to why Stockwell Police should think he was married to Michelle Smith. Miss Susan Browning, a friend of the family, acknowledged that she'd met Mr. Smith and Mr. Gardner at the Finchbury address where they were residing as Bobby and Cyril. Mr. Smith was seen diving from Mr. Gardner's bedroom window. Mr. Smith was seen devouring a copy of the London Evening Echo. Head struck by a handbag, head struck by oak beam, head struck by a taxi bonnet, farmer's cottage in Luton Airport. You tell lies, don't you, Mr. Smith? Now, what's the bleeding game? You are up to something, I know. What is it, eh? Drugs? Porno stuff? Illegal immigrants? Fake passports? Money laundering? You have two private addresses. Now, no more lies. Why? OK. I've had a good run. I couldn't expect to get away with it forever. Mr. Gardner and I, we're not gay. There's no farm in Luton. There's no transvestite called Fred. These were all made up to cover my guilty secret. 
The reason I have two homes is because I'm married to Michelle Smith and I live in Stockwell and at the same time I'm married to Stephanie Smith and I live in Finsbury. That's it. I'm a bigamist. You lying bastard. Go on, get out. Well, I can go. Don't worry, though. Sooner or later, I'll get you. Is that the truth, John? Mm. It's a bit complicated. Mm. So you only pretended to be gay to protect Gary? Because mm. while he was having it off with Bobby, Cyril and Fred, Behind their backs, he was carrying on with those two police sergeants. Mm. Yeah. I can believe that of Gary. Johnny? Mm. Hmm? That mad lady married to the other Mr. Smith. Call me Fred. She's mad, I suppose. And did you know she's a transvestite? No, I didn't actually. And that other lady that was with her, that was her partner, Bert. And poor Mr. Smith. He only just found out today. Johnny, I need to tell you something. John, there's something you ought to know. I, I think, think I'm, I'm pregnant. pregnant. Talking to 
do this with anyone, Gary. Of course not. But I've never actually done it with a guy that sleeps with guys, girls and transvestites. Versatile, Susie. That's me. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> <laughs>